Hello, today I want to show you my Camellus Carbon V Kukri. Um, this Kukri has had been made by Camellus for the Cold Steel Company that was like some years ago, I mean 10 years, 15, maybe 20 years. I am not um, really sure. It is 8 mm thick. Um, the original Kukri has a Kraton handle, textured Kraton handle. Um, this one was finished by my friend. I mean, he polished the blade really nice. He made a stacked leather sheath, uh, stacked leather um, handle with brass bolsters, which are also polished really nice. I mean, this is a mirror polish. This is the best polish on a knife that I that I have ever seen. It weighs 1.1 kilograms. Um, it is 45 centimeters long. And it is a beast. I mean, it's heavy, it's thick. And this is the first time I'm going to use it. I'll try to deal in a portion of this tree to see how it deals with this kind of tasks. Then I'll maybe try to chop it through and then maybe I'll try to do some light carving. Alright, let's give it a try. I gotta work on my aim a little bit. Oops. As you can see, it deals with delimbing no problem. It is also razor sharp. This stuff is spring, so bounces up. Alright, let's give it a try with chopping through this piece. As you can see, it chops very well, but at the same time, it is heavy. So, my forearm is getting a little bit fatigued. I might have to slow down. That did not take 
a long time. I mean, considering the fact that it weighs just above one kilograms, you would probably have to spend the same amount of time chopping through this log with a one kilogram axe. Well, one, a one kilogram axe would be a, a hatchet. So, yeah, one kilogram hatchet. This means that this probably will be a good multi-purpose tool that can work as an axe, that can work as a machete and a knife. Now let's go to some light carving. Let's try to carve something with it. Here we have a whittle stick. It carves well, alright. I won't say it carves very well because because of the thickness of this kukri. I mean it has a like half an inch grind, so it gets thick very very quickly. So it deals better with splitting, um, with chopping than with actual carving. I will have to rethink regrinding the edge, the part of the edge here, so that it's thinner and more suitable for um, for carving. It's a great chopper, though. All right. For the last task, I'm going to sharpen this stick and then pound it into the ground. With this heavy blade, no problem. I have to admit, my friend, did a very good task polishing the blade. It's a very good chopper, but at the same time, it does not carve very well. knife of this shape um, you can use very nicely as a draw knife as you can see here I hope you see I hope you can see it
I mean, those are some fine, fine savings. All right, my friend did a, good, did a very good task polishing it up. It's a great chopper. It's not the best tool option for carving. But at the same time, I've seen worse. So the handle is on the thick side, but uh, um, what I have to mention it is that um, the tank itself, it is a full tank knife. Um, the tank it is also eight millimeters thick, so the handle has to be quite bulky. It's com it's comfortable since it is stacked leather, so it's quite soft, at the same time warm. <laughs> yeah, for today, I will say. This is the part one of testing this kukri. Since I do not have much time left, I probably won't be able to resharpen it and do some carving again. So, yeah, I will have to sharpen it at a lower angle and then come back here and try to and try to carve with it. For the last, let's say, minute, I'll just cut down this tree. It is. I'm not sure what the species. It looks like it is oak. I'm not sure. It is like two to three inches thick. Will I drop it with one hit? We will see. A bit right through the middle. If I succeed in hitting the same point, I should be able I should be able to drop it. That was a little bit high. Yep. There it goes. This knife is a beast. After chopping, it is still razor sharp. You could probably hear the hair popping. I mean, on this surface you won't be able to to see them. That's a disadvantage. Also, I will have to check how well can I preserve the polished surface. I mean, is only keeping the blade dry going to prevent this cookie from rusting? I won't use any oil for now, I'll just use a rag and wipe off all the sap, all the dirt from the blade and we will see. Alright folks, this is it. Thank you for watching.